Hello Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. Let's take a look and see what is coming in for you. Any messages, advice, who or what is showing up around you and what you need to know. As always, take what's resonating, leave out the rest. Use your discernment, please, and thank you. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on all social media. If I resonate with you, I am spiritually goldy on all platforms. If you are interested in a personal reading done by me, I'll leave all of that information in the description box below. All right. Scorpio. What is coming in for Scorpio? Okay. Knight of Wands. We have Temperance. Four of Cups. The Chariot, the Hangman, and the King of Swords. You are analyzing someone's behavior right now. Like you are really, you're really observant at this moment. I do see someone making some sort of daring, <laughs> daring move towards you. Knight of Wands could be a fire sign. Leo Aries Sag. Doesn't have to be. Why are they taking action towards you, Scorpio? Page of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. So somebody is taking action towards you. Um, and this is in attempts to this is in attempts to offer you their loyalty or commitment. This is like them be, um, showing you through some sort of actions here, wanting to learn more about you, get to know you deeper, and begin to show you that their loyalty or interest is in you here. Okay? But I see you being uncertain about this person or about what they're offering you. So it, whatever they're offering you is not really big okay it may it may not be it may not be what you're expecting okay because with this four of cups i see you kind of feeling turned off in a way why the four of cups why the four of cups why the four of cups four of swords Okay. I see you feeling kind of turned off because for some of you, it's what they're offering you isn't big, but also there, it feels like there was some, there was a moment where you just like didn't hear from them or they were being distant towards you and you're at this place where I see you creating some space, wanting to really focus on you, focus on your own energy and getting very disciplined about getting something moving in your life, creating some forward movement here. What is this movement? I do see you moving forward here, finding some sort of willpower to overcome a situation. What is it that's moving forward for Scorpio, the High Priestess? Okay. You are moving forward with a decision that you're making based on your intuition. I feel like you're moving on from a situation or a person because Something that they've done has really just like it's, it gave you the ick in some way. Like someone gave you the ick. And intuitively, I think you can feel like maybe this just isn't for you or this isn't your person or this offer is just not. Um, and it may not be anything really wrong with the offer, but you're just like, yeah, I don't think this is for me, though. Like, I'm not that impressed. You're not impressed. Yeah, it's like you're not easy to impress right now. Okay, interesting. Someone else has your attention. <laughs> Two of Cups. 
So it feels like you are connecting with somebody here. Connecting with someone and it's mutual and you are choosing to give your energy and your time into this, but not too much, just enough. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, doesn't have to be though, okay? I feel like you do have intentions of um, wanting to come into union here with someone or create a partnership, but at the same time, you it could be get you could be getting some hot and cold energy, especially with this Queen of Swords here. So it feels like, as much as you're wanting to uh, give to a situation equally, you just feel like you can't give fully because someone's not offering you their emotions, or they're just not bringing the same energy that you're bringing in with. So. You're giving them what you what you think it's worth. Why the Queen of Swords? Yeah, this person is in a way detached. But I do see someone wanting to have a direct conversation with you. What is this about? Three of Swords. Okay. They're working through some heartbreak. Someone's working through some heartbreak. Someone's working through a, a period of healing. And I, I, I see this creating some sort of block. And now you're considering like, is this really worth it? And yeah, is this really worth moving forward? It's like they're giving you an offer, um, but you're not getting a lot of emotion from them. Okay. Why temperance reversed? Someone's unbalanced right now. Okay. Yeah, someone's this you have someone who is still um healing King of Cups. This is Pisces Cancer Scorpio strong cancer energy here. So you have somebody who is trying to get to a better place emotionally here. And they're and they're Putting a very calm exterior, but in but emotionally, something has caught them off balance or has put them in, or made them feel vulnerable. Okay. If you have someone in mind, think of them. Let's take a look and see how they feel about you, about the situation with you, Scorpio. We have the Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Wands, Four of Swords, King of Pentacles. Okay, wow. So something has changed or they feel like something has has changed when it comes to you. Like you've changed. You've leveled up in some way with that King of Pentacles. They see that you have uh, or you are in a place in your life right now where you're really building like your own empire here. You're focused on your stability, you're in a really good place in your life. You're very, yeah, they're kind of putting you on a pedestal. Like you, they view you as top tier. And they feel like something has changed now that you've kind of leveled up. Something has changed. They feel like they're running out of time. Why the Wheel of Fortune? There could have been an on, this could have been an on and off situation that you've had with them. Why the Wheel of Fortune has their feelings? Oh, yeah. Six of Pentacles. They're noticing that you've stopped doing certain things. Like, you used to give more and now you're giving less. You, maybe you, they're used to like, a, a version of you and now with the six of pentacles you are giving your energy to others or other responsibilities or other situations and they feel like things have changed in a way where um you're not you, you're not giving the same energy that you used to 
Like maybe you're not messaging them as much. You're not reaching out to them as much. And they feel like things have changed. I see this person feeling a little bit frustrated. Yeah. Frustrated to the point where they feel like giving up. It's like they kind of lost a chance with you. I think they're realizing that they've lost a chance with you. Because you you were trying to give your heart to them before. And you didn't get what you needed. And now you you know your worth. You have your standards. And so you're doing less. <laughs> That's... Yeah, and this is like a lesson that they feel like they, they're learning. It's like the sun, they truly do view you as like being really happy with the way that things are and not willing to change what you're doing at this moment. So this month they're meditating on something thinking about something healing by the four of swords as their actions ten of swords yeah they're contemplating They're contemplating whether or not to keep fighting for this or to uh, give up altogether. They're feeling defeated. Okay. You are being called to let go of um, whatever isn't feeling balance whatever is too much or too little like they're in getting to a really sweet spot of give and take or whatever is making you feel balanced you feel calm and at peace because you are on some sort of journey towards a new rebirth where i see you being more self-disciplined with what your needs are with your with your decisions, your movements. Tell me about this rebirth. I see you going on some sort of new adventure here that's going to bring you a lot of success and joy. Communication, a rebirth. With communication. Hmm. So I pick up that you're you're you have someone who's kind of coming around here with their tail in between their legs, wanting communication with you. And you're debating whether or not to let go and move on. Tell me about this self-discipline. Physical activity. I see being more disciplined with your own, your own glow up, your physical glow up, physical activity. Movement. Like there's about to be more movement in your life. You're moving through life and not staying stagnant. I'm seeing the numbers 91, 87, 74, 16, 41. Those numbers could be synchronicities or special days or birthdays. I'm seeing the letters S, R, N, U, H, C. Those letters could be in your name or someone else's. But with that said, this is what I'm seeing. If it did resonate, let me know. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. And I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, Scorpio. Bye.